My name is Isaac Cullinan from St. Paul, Minnesota. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube, channel TJV. And he's with his co-pilot, Diesel the Weasel. <laughs> I got to sleep right beside the highway, which is awesome. I love the sound of the highway of passing trucks. So here's our load that we're working with. These two guys are going to Quebec near Montreal. And from there, they're taking another truck that's taking them all the way up to Nunavut, I think. Government of Nunavut bought these. And then this guy here, I'm taking him to Sudbury, Ontario. So I've got him chained down and I've also got straps over the top of him. Just in case, just to be double short. I wish I was that guy. And my tarps, ready for my next load, whatever that might be. All right, let's see if we can get on the highway here without cutting anyone off. Gotta get myself in a position where I can see out my passenger window. And it looks like we're good to go. All right, here we go. get as far as we possibly can today yet we still have 1454 kilometers to our first destination so we won't get there tonight yet but uh, I want to get as close as possible and we'll be driving pretty late because I drove till about four in the morning or so yesterday well not quite that long but drove till the end of my shift so that means I had to sleep later today which means I'll have to drive later That's okay. This gravel trailer I got on the back of this trailer, the way it is on the truck, it's like a big sail pulling me back. It's dragging me down. It's gonna get terrible fuel economy with that thing on there. It's grabbing all the wind. The wind rushes around my truck, in behind it, and then boom, slams into that gravel trailer. What do we got here in Dryden? Truck got pulled over. Two cops? Getting a spanking. Very bad boy. Unlike you, Diesel, you're a good boy. Thanks, man. Thanks. You're on duty, aren't you? He's sitting in his seat right now. He's very fascinated by all the flashing lights there. Yes, this is Dryden, Ontario. I was going to stop at the Husky here for a coffee, but we stopped in Vermilion Bay and said because I couldn't wait. I had to have one. And I called uh, my customer for this uh, gravel trailer, this dump trailer that I'm hauling. And he's going to meet us there tomorrow, even if I get there in the evening, which is super cool. I'm going to try to get there as early as I can in the afternoon for him. I'm hoping to get there between 3 and 4. But, you know, trucking, it probably end up being between 5 and 6. So that's awesome. He'll unload me in the evening if I get there a little later. And that saves me from having to wait there all weekend till Monday. I can actually get to Quebec and then I can wait in Quebec until Monday. <laughs> so we'll be in Quebec tomorrow night, which is Friday night for me when I'm recording this. And then I have to sit there till Monday. That's okay, I have a tri-axle step deck behind me. So I have a feeling they're going to send me down to Southern Ontario for some steel. That is a crazy feeling. Why else would I have a triaxle if I'm not going to be pulling a heavy load back home? They don't dispatch triaxles for regular loads that just need a tandem. And if they're sending me this way with it now, even though I have a light load on me now, they have a plan. They have a plan for the triaxle. Well, in front of this guy in front of me, is a guy who 
hasn't discovered the gloriousness of cruise control yet. We've been fluctuating between like 75 kilometers an hour and 105. But that's to be expected going through these parts. Oh look, and here's a passing lane. I bet you anything he'll be able to go fast. Let's see. It's that tank truck up at the front there. I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to get past him. Especially with this reefer guy here now, he's gonna slow us down. Nope, now he wants to go fast. Huh. It's funny, because as soon as there's a two lane, he doesn't want to go as fast. I don't think I'm gonna make it past him. Nope, he didn't slow down and make it easy for us. Okay, well, we'll have to wait until next time. At least reefer guy got past him. Rude, man, that's rude. If you know you're holding up traffic, at least let us pass you when we have an opportunity. I see, I feel sometimes like I'm the only guy who does that. Like if I know I'm going slower than the rest of the people and they're piling up behind me, you know, when they have an opportunity to pass, I'll actually slow down and make sure it's easy for them to get past me because I know as soon as they're past, they're not gonna be in my hair. They wanna go faster than me, right? Yeah, now he's slowing right back down. Really? I don't understand why more people don't do that. Just let people pass, like slow down. When, when, then you don't have people like running right up your rear end all the time, you know? If I have any advice to give to people, it would be that. Just, if people want to go faster than you, don't hold them back behind you. They're not gonna be in your way. I think a lot of people are kind of selfish though too. Like, they don't wanna have to, you know, slow their truck down so that you can get your truck past. That would mean they would have to do something. And they don't want to have to do anything, they just want to keep rolling. This guy clearly doesn't have cruise control anyway, so I don't know. Maybe he doesn't notice it. Maybe people just don't notice that they do that. It seems like it's more of like a natural habit that, uh, that people do. They probably don't even realize it. You guys ever noticed that at the flying j pumps almost every single time the three is upside down it's got the bigger swoop at the top it's supposed to be on the bottom right am i right dollar 40 ouch per liter no ten thousand questions i just want diesel fuel that's why i'm here and some def So while we're fueling up, we check all our chains, our straps, make sure that they're still all tight. Make sure that nothing has moved or shifted. Everything still looks very good. The chains back here. Oh, that's tight, yeah. And these straps aren't really doing anything, but they are there just in case as a backup. And you got these. So this is what I mean by bad fuel economy. <laughs> the air rushes around my truck here, comes back around here, and nails the tailgate of that trailer. Who's beeping over there? Really? Gotta ruin my shot. I'm just gonna go with it. Try to ignore it, right? Backup papers. Have I told you that before? 